Welcome back to my channel. In this lesson, you will be able to learn how to read and measure temperature using a thermometer. Enumerate facts and tips on how to handle a thermometer. And solves routine and non-routine problems involving temperature. Are you familiar with these pictures? Saan natin makikita ang mga yon? Nakahawak ka na ba nito? O nakagamit ka na ba nito? Sa ngayon, itong dalawang picture na ito ang pinakamadalas nating makita. Kasi lagi yan ginagamit pag tayo ay kinukuhanan ng temperatura. Temperature plays a crucial role in medical care, both to humans and animals, foods, beverages, and agriculture. Our overall health is often reliant upon temperature in many ways as well. Temperature is the hotness or coldness of a body or an object. So, iba't ibang ginagamit natin na thermometer para makuha natin ang temperature ng isang bagay o tao. Let us read, then understand this problem. Carl's room received the afternoon sun. The temperature was 26 degrees Celsius. He turned the air conditioned on. After a few minutes, it recorded to 15 degrees Celsius. What was the change in temperature? Was the room warm or cold? How did he measure the temperature of the room? To answer these questions, we are going to use thermometer. What is a thermometer? A thermometer is an instrument used to measure temperature. It was developed by a Greek scientist and a physician Galen in AD 170 and was improved by a scientist Galileo Galilei in 1953. A thermometer consists of glass bulb, which is the temperature sensor that is attached to a glass tube with a number scale. The two common liquids inside the scale that goes up and down are the alcohol and mercury. Each space in the number scale represents 1 degree Celsius. The numbers below 0 are written with a minus sign. So negative na po yun doon pag may minus sign kasi sobra na po ang lamig noon. Degree Celsius, a unit for measuring temperature. Our normal body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. The boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius while the freezing point of water is 0 degrees Celsius. This time, we are going to read a thermometer. To read a thermometer, Find the level of the liquid. Tingnan nyo po yung nasa larawan. Yung number dyan at saka yung liquid, yun ang ating pagbabasihan. Simula kanina, ang sabi ko, yung bawat scale ay may 1 degrees Celsius. Let's have this exercises.
maintindihan nyo yon Medyo madali lang naman. Ang dapat lang tandaan ay kung nasaan yung level ng mercury. Okay, this time we gonna have tips on how to handle thermometer with mercury. First, it should be washed before and after use. Number two, shake it a few times to bring the level of mercury down. Number three, do not hold the thermometer by its bulb. Next, number four, the, keep the mercury level along your line of sight and then take the reading. Number five, handle it with care to avoid hitting it against some hard objects. It may break. And lastly, do not place the thermometer in a hot flame or in a hot sun. Dapat po nating tandaan ang mga tips na yon para magamit natin ng tama ang ating mga thermometer. Okay? This time, we are going to solve problems using thermometer. Balikan natin yung problem kanina about car. Then we're going to solve it using the steps in solving word problem. Carl's room received the afternoon sun. The temperature was 26 degrees Celsius. He turned the air condition on. After a few minutes, it recorded to 15 degrees Celsius. Questions. What was the change in temperature? Was the room warm or cold? How did he measure the temperature of the room? Using the four steps on how to solve problems, after reading and understanding the problem, atin na pong hihimay-himayin ito isa-isa para masagot natin. Kanina, nung naka-receive ng sun ang room ni Carl, the temperature was 26. Then, binuksan niya ang aircon, naging 15 na lang ito. So, lumamig nga ba o uminit ang kwarto after niyang mabuksan ang aircon? So, 26 minus 15 equals 11 degrees Celsius. Ang tanong, mayroon daw bang pagbabago ang temperature? Of course, yes. Umano siya, naging mas malamig. And 11 degrees Celsius was the change in temperature and it was colder. And to check if our answer is correct, we're just going to add the difference and the subtrahend. Kapag ang minuend ang kanyang sagot, then our answer is correct. In this case, 11 plus 15 is 26. So our answer is correct. Let's try this number 2. A freezer is set at 0 degrees Celsius. Mary Joy reset it to 9.5 degrees Celsius. Did the temperature in the freezer rise or drop? By how many degrees? Okay, isolve na natin. Alam naman natin na ang 0 degrees ay yung kanyang freezing point. So, yun yung simula. Then, naging 9.5 daw after ma-reset ang freezer. Tumaas kaya o bumaba ang temperature? So, we're just going to add 0 degrees Celsius plus 9.5 degrees Celsius. The answer is 9.5 degrees Celsius. So, the temperature rose by 9.5 degrees Celsius. Okay? 
Let's try problem number 3. How many degrees is 35 degrees Celsius lower than 47 degrees Celsius? Which of the two is the colder temperature? Our clue word there is lower than. Ibig sabihin, isosubtract lang natin ang 35 degrees Celsius sa 47 degrees Celsius that will give us a difference of 12 degrees Celsius. So sa tanong na which is colder, the answer is 35 degrees Celsius kasi mas mababa siya kaysa sa 47 degrees Celsius. Mas mababang numero, mas malamig po siya kapag positive degrees. Okay? Let's try now problem number 4. If the temperature in the morning is 17.3 degrees Celsius and became 29.5 degrees Celsius in the afternoon, did it rise or drop? By how many degrees? So, ano ang gagawin natin? We're going to subtract 17.3 from 29.5 degrees and it gives us 12.2 degrees Celsius. So, the temperature rose by 12.2 degrees Celsius. Tumaas po siya kasi lalo siyang uminit. To check if the answer is correct, add 12.2 degrees Celsius plus 17.3 degrees Celsius. It gives us 29.5 degrees Celsius. Kaya tama po ang ating sagot. Okay? Our last problem is actually the same kaysa sa nauna nating problem. Kaya lang ang pagkakaiba nila dito ay yung tanong. Ang tinatanong kasi sa pangalawa ay, what is the average of the two temperature? Pag sinabi natin average, i-add po natin sila, then kukunin natin ang kanilang average. In this case, in-add natin yung 17.3 at 29.5 which gives us 46.8 degrees Celsius. Then we are going to divide it by 2. 2 kasi dalawa lang ang given dyan. Kapag ang given ay 3, syempre, di-divide natin ng 3. At kung 4 ang given, eh syempre, divide it by 4. Depende ang pagkuha ng average after adding it, kung ilan ang given, doon mo po siya i-divide. Okay? And that's it for today. See you in my next video. At kung bago ka po sa channel na ito, Huwag kalimutang manood, mag-like, and mag-subscribe. Hit mo na rin ang bell button para ka-updated sa lahat ng aking ia-upload. This is Teacher Presi Varona. Bye-bye!